top of the hour now, and at the top of this newscast, we talked about Joe the Plumber and what he said at a Republican National Committee campaign event in Ohio today. Joe said that he agreed that a vote for Obama is a vote for the death of Israel. Joe the Plumber is on the line with us now. Joe, thanks for joining us. Uh, why specifically is a vote for Barack Obama a vote for the death of Israel? Well, I mean, specifically, I suppose I could tell you, I mean, just, you know, look at the record. Obama's offered to uh, meet with Israel's en enemies with no uncertain terms. Uh, in fact, he's actually letting them dictate terms to him. And then uh, look at his past associations with people he talks to. Um, like but who? quite honestly, uh, well, quite honestly, I mean, you know, the gentleman that approached me with that question, you know, I agreed to with what I know. Um, I just want to push it back on your listeners to go out there and find out why I would, you know, agree to something like that. Well, um, no, oh, trust me, I've gotten the email. There are a lot of people who agree with you. What I can't figure out is why. Let's listen. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this clip from earlier. Listen. Now, I'm just going to make that one comment. A vote for Obama is a vote for the death to Israel. I'll guarantee you that. Well, you know what? Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and agree with you on that one. Uh, you know, it. Uh, no, I agree with you. I really think that would be a problem. Joe, do you know uh, do you know Barack Obama's positions on Israel? Um, listen, I, I, mean, I know you want to really get some answers on this one. I'm just not going to help you out here, Shepard. I, you know, let people go out and find. That's what I've been telling people: get out and vote, but find out the issues. Find out why they would think I would say that, or why you know why Obama says what he says, or why McCain says what he says. So. Do you think John McCain agrees with you? Uh, no, it's just my uh, personal opinion that I've come up with, you know, by looking into different facts and what I think. That's that's my my message has been about. I haven't been telling people to go out and vote. Uh, listen, you don't want my opinion on foreign policy. You know, I I know just enough to probably to be dangerous. Yeah, well, that's what I was kind of wondering. I wonder if you if you think it's dangerous at all for people to say a vote for Barack Obama is the same as a vote for Israel. If you think that's something dangerous for people to start believing, because what happens if the polls are right and he becomes the president of the United States and people start thinking this means the death of Israel? Are you worried what people might do if they actually believe something like that? Well, that's uh, again, goes back to what I just got done saying. I mean, some people believe it wholeheartedly. This gentleman I spoke to is middle America. Therefore, you know, he had it's very important to him. Uh, important to me, but I mean, especially important to this gentleman. Uh, he's middle America, and, you know, and, and he got on there and was able to make his point, and I agreed with him. Uh, no, I have no idea where John McCain's position is on that. Uh, John McCain's his own person, just like I am. Do you think that, you that know, a lot of that? As, as I'm the, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, do you think a lot of that has to do with some hateful things that spread all over the internet? I mean, after all, jo uh, Barack Obama has said repeatedly, time after time, that there is nothing more important than the United States friendship with Israel and that the United States will back up Israel every moment of every day if and when he becomes president of the United States. He could not have been clearer about it in his positions and in his speeches. And I just wonder what it is that makes you think that he's lying about that. Well, just what I've got back, I mean, you know, actions. You know, I've heard words, and I hear words from politicians all the time. You know, but actions kind of give you an like idea. What and action? How I just, I'm just trying to figure it action, out. What action? Well, well, the actions that I see is, you know, offering to meet with certain, uh, you know, enemies of the United States on no uncertain terms. And, uh, Meeting actually with Ahmadinejad. Have That's what the campaign said in a, in a statement released after you made those comments that, in fact, let's put the statement up on the screen, why don't we? This is what the McCain campaign released after you said that at the campaign event today. I believe we have it to put up on the screen. Yeah, here it is. Uh, while he's clearly his own man, speaking about you, so far Joe has offered some penetrating and clear analysis that cuts to the core of many of the concerns that people have with Barack Obama's statements and policies, whether it's Obama's willingness to sit down unconditionally with Mahmoud Ahmadinejad or his plans to redistribute the paychecks of hardworking Americans, there is good reason to question the judgment that Obama would bring to the Oval Office. So that's what they put out. And I guess the fact that, that he has said he would meet with Ahmadinejad is something that you have taken to believe would be the death of Israel? Uh, well, you know, it definitely doesn't help uh, the situation any. And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Shepard, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, dancing around this. I, I honestly want people to go out and find their own reasons. You know, so um, I, I say I tell people not to listen to everyone else's opinion. I'm not going to have them start listening to mine. Go out and get informed. That's mm -hmm. the biggest message I got for people. Joe Wurzelbacher on the line with us after a GOP stop uh, and a number of them today. Joe, thanks for being here.
uh, I just want to make this 100% perfectly clear. Barack Obama has said repeatedly and demonstrated repeatedly that Israel will always be a friend of the United States uh, no matter what happens once he becomes president of the United States. His words. Um, the rest of it, man, some things just, it just gets frightening sometimes. We'll be right back.